image quality from the Lumix S1H, which was released back in 2019, is still considered by many reviewers and users as one of the best ever come out of a mirrorless camera. Now one factor that contributes to that image is what's called an optical low pass filter, or an OLPF, or anti-aliasing filter. So without getting into the nitty gritty and the sciencey nerdy details of what an optical low pass filter does, Basically, it just removes moire or moire and aliasing in highly detailed repeating patterns. These artificial artifacts that don't you don't see them with your normal eye, those little things can kind of hint to the viewer that something's off. So one of the biggest problems with moire in video is that it's pretty hard to remove in post. There's really no way to remove it and keep the detail um, at the same time. There are brushes for photographers, but that's just another step you've got to do and why not just get rid of it at the source. Over the last two years, I shot all my wedding films with S1Hs and I had a few problems, but um, it wasn't until this year when I started shooting with the S5 II and S5 IIx that I really noticed it. I had shots that I had to track and remove it as best I could. You know, shots where the groom is walking towards the camera and his suit is just lighting up with these rainbow colors. After those couple weddings, I kind of became obsessed trying to find a solution. So finally, after searching for a while, um, I brought this up to my my friend Ali Hamad and he mentioned Kolari Vision. I had actually heard of Kolari. I knew that they did infrared and full spectrum conversions on several mirrorless cameras, including Lumix. So I reached out to them. They did tell me that they had an OLPF in-house that they thought would work well with the sensor. So I shipped the camera to them. Ended up that the first OLPF wasn't strong enough so they tested another one and that was the jackpot. And after getting the camera back and doing my own tests, to my surprise and theirs, it actually removed Moray better than the S1H. You know, I'm a little bit biased. I love the S1H. That's, that's my baby. That's what really got me over to Lumix and um, kept me there. I've been talking a lot longer than I've planned to for sure. So let's just watch the comparisons. As you can see, the results are extremely impressive at reducing and removing more. In the worst case, which is the suit, it's gone. So there is a very subtle loss in sharpness, which is just what comes with a proper OLPF. For us video shooters, it's gonna be really welcomed with a sensor because it's so sharp. I gotta imagine that for a lot of photographers that deal with this, on a daily basis, like real estate photographers, the loss of aliasing and moire is more beneficial than the very, very slight loss of sharpness. But that's gonna vary depending on what you do, and you know, this isn't for everybody. There is a slight white balance shift, similar to when you add a lens in front of your sensor. So that is one thing to consider when you're shooting and matching cameras. The autofocus is the same, doesn't affect the PDAF, pixel array or anything, so you're good there. This modification will set you back $699 US. One thing I didn't mention is that you can actually do this mod for all of the Lumix S1 and S5 cameras. So say you've got an old S5 hanging around that you paid $1,000 for used, now it's a $1,700 camera, and that's amazing. So if you consider adding it to an S5-2X, which has more video features than the S1H, smaller, has the autofocus, all in, that's a $2,700 camera. I mean, that's pretty good. The mod is expensive, but when you think about what you're adding it to and what it creates after that, it's pretty impressive. So right now, Kolari only has a total of 15 filters ready to go. They are planning to get more, but right now, if you send your camera in, they are ready to get going. And if you do decide to go ahead with this mod, uh, come on back to this video and click that link in the description. And I really appreciate it. Thank you guys. <laughs>